Hi everyone, so today is day zero of my COVID vaccine experience. In short, today I just got the first dose. So far, I just feel mild soreness on my arm, which is actually almost fading. It was a little worse earlier in the day, but aside from that, no fever, no muscle aches, no cough, nor sore throat, and I'm still alive. Hindi pa naman ako zombie, and, and I feel perfectly fine. Hi again. So this is day one of my um, first dose of the vaccine. So I received it yesterday and so far I still feel okay. Still no fever, no cough, no muscle aches, nothing. And the soreness on my arm, eh, yeah, it's getting much better. So it's day three of my COVID vaccine and I still feel okay. Um, still no fever, no muscle aches, nothing. And the muscle soreness on my arm, it's gone. I'm perfectly fine. Hi everyone. So today is the fourth day after my COVID vaccine and um, I do feel like I have, um, I don't know if it's a side effect or if it's already a symptom. Of COVID, but um, a while ago I just lost my taste of uh, my sense of taste. My taste of uh, my sense of taste. Yeah, um, I was eating a chocolate bar and I just couldn't taste it. I I poured some sugar in my mouth, I poured some salt in my mouth, but no. Yeah, so um, I can smell, yes. Um, I don't have any other symptoms aside from that. So I just had my swab and hopefully it turns out negative. Hey everyone, so, so we are at the fifth day after my COVID vaccine. And yeah, my sense of taste is slowly getting better. And I did have a mild headache in the morning, but now it's okay. Um, I had my swab taken yesterday, and thank God it is negative. So, so definitely, this is not COVID. This, these are just side effects of the vaccine. And if you Hi. the date today is February 21, 2021. And I just received my second dose of the COVID vaccine. So compared to the first one, um, the first one was a little heavy. And this one, it has that stinging, um, stinging sort of pain. You know? um, yung una, medyo mabigat. And itong pangalawa, mahapdi siya. Yeah, it was really painful. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of things from my friends and colleagues that the second dose has more side effects or more severe side effects compared to the first one so hopefully i won't have any any major side effects hopefully Hi, so today is february 22 2021 and i just received my second dose of the covid vaccine yesterday uh since yesterday afternoon i've been feeling both hot and cold at the same time um feverish um dizzy uh um what else yeah my muscles are aching all over and i just feel tired so yeah um these are some of the expected side effects of most ma uh, most vaccinations so no need to worry Hi, it's the evening of Feb 22, 2021 and I did record an earlier video regarding my symptoms for the day but as evening came the symptoms got a bit worse as I now have um, joint pains all over my body like literally from head to toe Um, nanunood talaga sa buto yung sakit niya and yeah. Hi, the day today is Feb 23, 2021 and it's been how many days? Three days? 
yeah, since I got my second dose of the COVID vaccine. And so far, I'm beginning to feel a lot better. Um, I still have mild um, joint and muscle aches, but not as severe as yesterday and the day before that. Hi, um, so today, today is Feb 24, 2021, and it's been four days since my second dose of the COVID vaccine. So far, I still have a little um, bone and joint pain but um generally better compared to the previous day. hi so today is feb 25 2021 and it's supposed to be my last day of observation post vaccine but actually i still have a little no, a, a few symptoms i still have muscle and um, joint pains but it's not as bad as the previous days i can now go to work and yeah it's not debilitating 26 2021 and it's been almost a week after my second dose of the covid vaccine right now i still have mild muscle aches very mild very very mild anyway i can go to work pa, and yeah it doesn't bother me that much hey everyone what's up so it's march 1 2021 and it's my last day of observation regarding my body's response to the covid vaccine so it's been more than a week after i received my first or uh, my second dose of the vaccine and i feel perfectly fine actually um yeah, I did have some side effects, but the worst of them would be the muscle aches and the bone pain. Yes, kasi sobrang nanonood siya talaga sa labo to. But it was managed naman with painkillers and rest, rest, rest. <laughs> so don't be scared of receiving the vaccine kasi there will be side effects, yes. But um, at least your chances of of having severe symptoms or of dying from the disease will be significantly lower compared to if you hadn't received the vaccine and also i know that some people are very concerned about the figures the numbers the percentage of the effectivity don't mind them because although there are some brands who have 95 percent some have 86 percent some have 72% regardless of the brand or the percentage that they are giving you it is still a lot better than having zero protection from covid right so um aside from that the brand of the vaccination or the vaccine doesn't define the side effects that you will be experiencing because me um, I mean I have a lot of friends who have received the vaccine and um, we have different brands you know from different countries of course and we all have different sets of side effects and even those of my friends who received the vaccine here um, we actually have only one brand here um, in my location and yeah we still have different side effects um, it all boils down to how your body's immune system will respond to the vaccine and it will not depend on what brand you received all right so I urge everyone to get your vaccinations um, if it's available in your area and don't be scared you know um, yeah, it's the, the best way that we could all do our part in helping end this pandemic. And also be wary or be careful which information you will believe because there are a lot of people who release information about COVID. And the sad thing is that these people sometimes are not health-related personnel even. So... Yes, um, be careful who you trust, especially with information that you spread around to other people as well. And, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do click the subscribe button somewhere there and hit the notification bell and share this with your friends. Hopefully it will enlighten them and alleviate their worries about the vaccine. Yeah, I think that's it for me and I will see you soon. Bye!